Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the scan right now. So just a review with, with what I've done is reduce the size of the, of the stabilizers down so that you have a little bit of a wobble. It can't, it does, don't let it have to be super tight or just, we usually send them longer so you cut them down for what you want. But uh, I've reduced it so I have a little bit of wiggle, you know, not a lot of wiggle. If you want a lot of wiggle, take them all off and do it and it'll wiggle around. But again, I, I'd caution that you're, you're going to bang around and you're going to have to scan slower because of it. Well, so that's done. Um, my lens is cleared off. Again, remember that you take the cables and you and you tape them to here, so that way it keeps the camera running stable up and down inside the flue. I've got that set. I go. I'm going to turn the unit on, and I turn my lights up. Wait for my SD card reader to come in to the side side here, and I got my remote, so I can hit hit OK, and I'll be ready to go. Okay, it's got to go. We're going. So with that said, I'm going to put the camera inside the chimney, like so. And I'm look, watching as I go down through. Oops, okay. There you see my first offset liner. And my second offset liner. I'm not seeing anything else but the offset liners. They look pretty clear and clean right now. There's except scratch marks coming on from the from the stabilizers. And you come down through there's a huge opening and offset liner. And you see off to the left side there, you can see that the thimble is right there. I'm going to go past that a little bit and see what else we have just to verify to make sure all the, the liner is actually supported on all four sides. I'll come down a little bit lower here and notice on my left side again I've got a clean out port and I'm now down to pretty well at the base of the chimney and the camera's about ready to hit. I'm going to flip the switch. I'm going to look sideways and start rotating the camera. And sure enough, there's the clean outdoor. I'm going to begin to move my camera back up slowly. There's my cable. There's my first joint. And you guys see there, there's a heck of an offset right on those liners too. The other one's way underneath it. I look at it like that. And then you come back over here. I'll raise the camera, lower the camera a little bit, and you can see. It's shadow right there going across a huge opening right there. Move up to the next liner. So remember, bottom and top are reversed. So this is the bottom, this is the top. So as you pull it, you'll see it coming up like this. All right, that's all you just have to remember while you're doing it. So again, another huge offset. right there. There's the, the thimble. As you can see, there's plywood and whatnot in there and it also has some brickwork laying around the side. Needless to say, this is not a good prime candidate for um, delivering of gases through, but I want to look over on the other side over here. I want to go up. I want to go back down here so we have the bottom. Anything else? Nope. It's about the same thing. All right. So, so my rotation going the other way and I'll start beginning to work my way up. Again, offset liner, really big time. Yeah, wow, that's pretty big. All right. Again, I'm not seeing any other defects in the liner besides being offset pretty bad. That's what I was just hung up on. That thing is almost an inch and a half out of, out of whack. Down over here. See it this way. Yeah, that is really out of whack pretty bad. And look at that, that difference there. Okay. Ah, I guess there's another one the same way. Next offset liner. Mm. 
needless to say, he would not be a prime candidate for inventing any products. That appears to be water staining. Ah, there it is. Here's a real good indicator. Sometimes that will give you a false positive on something. See the lines that are going up and down inside the screen right there? Well, I would think that these are cracks in the liner. But in reality, they're not. They're scratched from the, from the whiskers. So from time to time, you have to understand. So what I do to see if, if that's such the case is I follow the scratches in this case all the way up and see if they continue on and as you can see they don't so that's always a good clear indicator most like 99 percent of the time crack liners will go from one end to the other end very rarely they go so far and stop they'll, they'll go the continual way so that's one thing i look for if i see something that appears to be a crack which might be a scratch make sure i go from one end to the other of the liner and make sure if it, if it does then i have a crack if it doesn't then it was just a scratch also, I need to look to see if there's any shadow. So if there's a sh the crack usually will leave some type of a shadow. In this case, there is no shadow. So there are two real indicators that kind of help me between scratches versus uh, cracks in the liners. So as I get up toward the top here, feel my connector coming up through. Okay, there. I am now at the top. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll stop it. The recording. There we go. Turn my microphone off, and I have now completed the scan. All right, I will go ahead and take the. Um, let's see. Oh, and remember, just a reminder too with the towel. Stay right there. If I'm outside working, I usually will just do this. I usually try to find a dark towel, but I couldn't find one. So, anyway. Just do this, and now the screen will become a lot clearer for you, and take away any any glare coming off from the sun. Which all LED pro all LED screens have that problem. Bright, non-bright, they have the same issues. So this will help you be able to see your screen. So that should pretty well take care of it. So you understand how to do a scan from the roof. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Anyway, and I'm up top. Okay, that's how you do a scan from the top down, and uh, you're all set to go. Then, when you're completed with it, you just wipe your camera off, and we have the black thing to put around it. And I'll just lay that down there. Then, what I'll do here is I'll just take my remote, put this over here. I pull this forward, take the cable. Do my untaping. Okay. Just untape. Here, close down. This closed. Reverse the procedure. Put it all back inside the bag. Put the thing on my shoulder, or get on the ladder first, and then take it and put the thing over, whichever is safer for you to use. And go ahead and lower yourself down the ladder, and you've got to scan. I videotaped it, so I have everything right here. If I wanted to take digital stills, I could do that. If I had a unit with a keyboard, I could do the same thing here too. Just one hand right underneath my knee to hold the cable, and I would go ahead and type accordingly. So that's just a really easy way to do a top-down scan, especially in this time where if you can't get in the home, this is a real quick way to do it. Okay? Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. Take care and have a great day.